Emeka, I beg come. Guy, yeah, what's up? I need your help. Are you just coming back from getting your phone? Yes, but I'm in trouble and I need your help. Oh my God, what is it again? I need some money. I am owing the E3 35,000. Do you take Jenny out again? Yes, I missed her. So I called her to meet me in the house. But she insisted on going there. So I had no choice but to accept. Guy, when would you have sense? You went there to pay your debt and you ended up owing them again. Where is your phone? I give the waiter my phone. I will get it when I have completed the money. How much did you pay and how much is remaining? I paid 5,000 and it's remaining 35,000 Naira. Jesus Christ, where will you get such amount of money from? That is why I came to you for help. You must be joking. I'm not giving you a dime. Carry your cross alone. Guy, I beg. Just blow me 10,000 Naira. I promise to pay you back. The 5,000 Naira you collected from me, have you paid me back? I will pay you everything I owe you in due time. There's nothing like due time. You need to pay the 5,000 as soon as possible. I need that money. Guy, just pity me, I beg. I have a job now, and it will be easy to pay you back. Like I said before, I'm not giving you a dime. Is it that you don't have the money I'm asking for? I have the money. I go to the building site every day, and I have been able to save up. Then just give me the money as a loan. I promise to pay back with interest. Even if you want to give me 10 times the money, I will not give you. I had the money, but I won't give you. You are so stingy. Thank you. I gave Jenny your number in case she calls. If you say any strange number that ends 190, just know she is the one. And don't speak. I told her it is my second line. First to fake life will not kill you. Is it your life? I want to go to the building site. Do well to lock my door properly and keep the key under the rubber outside. So what about the money I asked for? Like I said before, I have money, but I won't give you. Carry your cross alone. Baby, you are here. Just hold in, dear. What is the problem? Have I done anything wrong? Yes, you have. Why is my mom complaining about you? And how am I supposed to know? Maybe you should go ask her. She should be singing your praises and not complain about you. Naturally, that woman complains too much. Shut up, Naomi. Why are you showing your bad character to her? Don't provoke me, Josiah. You know how much I hate being told to shut up. You have no right to disrespect my mother. I am not disrespecting your mom. She is demanding too much from me. What is she demanding from you? Always telling me to sweep, clean, wash, cook, and every other things. Are you insane? Those are life basic skills. Everyone should know how to do them. I didn't say I cannot do any of those things. I don't just like when someone tells me what to do. That is not an excuse to disrespect my mother. If you want her to give us her blessings, then you have to do the right thing and change from this bad behavior of yours. Maybe you should talk to your mom too. I don't tolerate nonsense from anyone, no matter who he or she is. And your mom is not an exception. One more complaint from her and you'll see the bad side of me. I bet you wouldn't like to see me angry. Why are you siding with your mom? I am the woman in your life now, so you should stand by me. Sometimes I wonder if you think before talking. I want to go. I am tired of staying here. You're not going anywhere until the one week has elapsed. I hate being controlled. I can't wait to leave here. I hope you have heard me. I don't want to hear complaint from my mom about you again. Be a good girl. Babe, how far now? How are you doing? I'm fine. I called your line so many times, but you didn't pick up. Sorry, dear. My phone is in my room. I came down to watch television. So how was the wedding you attended? My dear, it wasn't easy at all. You know I had two places to cater that day. I sent my staffs to cater the first wedding while I catered her own wedding. Man, it was stressful. Everything ended at night. Eh, hey, yeah. Uh, sorry, dear. At least you have as much rest as you want. Exactly. How about you? No work? No, I won't go today. I want to prepare early for tonight. What's happening tonight? Are you getting engaged? Engaged, quoi? 
Even in the next three years, I am not ready to settle down. So you don't know you are getting old? My dear, marriage is not a guarantee to success. Neither is it a guarantee to heaven. I can decide not to marry Seth. Okay, oh madam, I have heard you. So what's happening tonight? So you mean you haven't heard? Heard what? The big party this night. Only politicians, millionaires, and sons of millionaires are allowed to attend such parties. And so what are you going there to do? You are not a politician, neither are you a millionaire. They need young girls like me to spice up the party. Hmm, Vivian, you are slowly turning into a prostitute. That name sounds cheap to me, so don't call me a prostitute. Okay, oh. My rent has expired, and I need to pay it as soon as possible. That is why I will go there and spice up the party. Who knows, I might see a good Samaritan who will pay my rent. Okay, oh, good luck to you. So you aren't coming with me? Even if you don't want to do anything, you can just sit there, take a drink, have some fun, and come back. I'm not interested. I have a job to plan for. One of my church members will dedicate her child soon, so I am to cater for the dedication. And so, you can still come back home early. Madam, go your party alone, I beg. I'm not coming. I have better things to do than go around to spice up people's party. <laughs> you are silly. Come, let's go get something across the road, I beg. Bro, what's up? You know they knock before you enter person house. Why should I knock? Is it not the same thing you do when you come to my house? You have never told me to knock. That is why I don't knock before going in. That one is your business. Why are you not dressed yet? Aren't you coming to watch football with me? I'm not coming. Why? You that I know cannot miss watching football. I'm not in a good mood. If I come, I will not enjoy watching it. What is the problem? You look worried. It is written all over your face. If I tell you, you start judging me. No, I won't. You're my friend and I've got your back. It's Naomi. I might go mad because of her. Ah uh ah. -uh. So you are worried because you are madly in love with her. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not talking about that kind of madness. What did she do this time? I took her to stay with my mom for a week. So they can get along. And I have heard different types of complaints from my mom about her. What kind of complaints? She said she is disrespectful and doesn't help in anything in the house. <laughs> you are funny, bro. So are you trying to tell me you don't know that Nami is disrespectful? Of course I know. I thought she would at least hide her character while staying with my mom. Just to make my mom like her. Bro, seriously. I don't know what to see in that girl that made you fall hard over heels in love with her. I love her because she's independent. You know how much I love independent ladies. Then get ready to endure whatever shit she brings to you. It's not even about me. My mom obviously doesn't like her and she has been advising me to leave her. Hmm. So what will you do now? I don't know if you were in my shoes. What would you have done? To be honest, if I was in your shoes, I wouldn't have fought twice before leaving her. I mean, I can't stand any woman disrespecting my mother. What if my mother is wrong? Then it is in your fiancé's position to report her to you. I mean, your mother is now like her mother. Or are you trying to tell me that that is the same way she disrespects her mother? Speaking of her mother, I need to go see her today to know how she's doing. Okay, but that will be when we come back from watching ball. Bro, seriously. I don't want to come. Guy, I know you are just joking. Go and get ready, Joe. You won't give up easily, will you? Of course, I won't. Go and change. Let's go, Joe. Guy, Jenny called me a few hours back. Really? I hope you didn't pick the call. Of course I did. How was I supposed to know she was the one? But I told you her last three digits. I forgot. Was I supposed to memorize her last three digits? Guy, I don't throw my hands. When you picked the call, what did you say? I told her you were in the bathroom and wasn't available to pick a call at the moment. I hope you didn't act like the owner of the phone. No, I didn't. Ever since the day you told me you gave her my number, I don't speak first when a strange number call me. Good. Please call her back for me. That means you pay for the time you will use. That is not the problem. Okay. Thank you. You have to know, sweetheart. I'm sorry about that. I was in the bathroom when you called. So how are you doing? What is the problem? 
Please don't cry. It's okay. I'm not fine at all. I haven't been feeling too well these past few days. No, I haven't. I don't have money. I don't even have money to eat. Talk more of going to the hospital. It's too late now. Oh my goodness. What is wrong with you? Have you gone to the hospital? Why now? That is the first place you should have gone immediately the sickness started. Jeez. You should have called me since. Don't worry, let me see what I can do. I thought you said you were a billionaire. Then why are you sounding like a broke guy? Do something about my sickness. 10,000 era only. Ah, 10,000. What? Just to go to the hospital. Why are you shouting? Is it too big? I know. I'm a gold digger. That is why I don't want to mention a huge amount. Do you want to cry? Okay, please, I'm expecting the money today. Yes, I mean no. I just have a little headache. Let it be tomorrow, please. My bank has a network issue. Okay. Yeah, what is she talk? Why are you really crying? My guy, what she just told me now is enough reason for me to cry. What did she say? She said she needs 10,000 naira for her hospital treatment. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. This is just the beginning. She be one to form millionaire. What do I do now? How much have you been able to save from your work? Just 15,000. And I wanted to save more so I could go get my phone. Bro, open up and tell this gauge the truth about you. If she loves you, she will stay. If she doesn't, she will go. But I can't afford to lose her. Well, you can't afford to be kicked out of your house by your landlord. Guy, use your head. Tell her the truth.